Welcome to the introduction of the Evolution. This is our newest product from Okayan. And inside here you will see that everything is nicely packed inside of its uh, Pelican case here. You will have a control unit, you have your antenna sensor and everything else that you need to get started. The user's manual. Folks, please read the user's manual. It has a lot of very important information and of course we'll help you get through anything that you do not understand. So you can always reach us for technical support. So I'm going to start off here with the control unit. And in the control unit here, you can see that we have to place batteries on both sides. Just slide the door open. We're going to take out our little piece of fabric here to hold the battery. We'll insert the battery into the unit. Okay. In order to properly insert the batteries, okay, the battery comes here. The negative portion, that's the one without the nipple on it, comes against the spring. And you're going to push it in so that it seats on the inside here. This little piece of fabric, make sure it's underneath so when you remove it, you can pull the fabric in order to remove the battery. So again, you're going to push that in, set the battery in, and then slide the door closed. And you'll do this on both sides because it requires two batteries. Okay, okay also what we have here is our wireless antenna probe. Everything is connected here via Bluetooth connection, so it's completely wireless, you have nothing to get hung up on. When you start with this, you need to make sure that you extend out your telescopic rod completely. That way the metal detector unit here is not too close up here and it does, will not react at the same time. Okay, now when you use this unit, be sure that the lower part is fully extended. Without the full extension, it's going to have feedback towards the top. So give this basically in order to extend it, you're going to give it a quarter turn out loose and then it will slide out. Make sure it's fully extended. Tighten that back up. You don't have to make, don't have to make it so tight that you can't open it again just so that it remains in place. Then you have a middle extension that you can also slide out for your own personal comfort. So make sure that where you set your position is good for you in your particular size and height and then it will work for you. All right, what I'd like to show you here is the battery compartment and how you install the batteries on this. Okay, here you have a, uh, your knob on the top which takes a 90 degree turn. So in order to open the knob, you put it on, you give it a quarter turn. The batteries are on the inside here. Okay, the negative pole, the flat side of the battery goes towards the bottom. You insert the batteries, two batteries. Then you make sure that your nipples line up here with that on the inside. Once you get that all lined up, you give it a quarter turn and there you go the batteries are properly inserted okay with our wireless antenna and our control unit you have two different options one you can use the attached wrist holder and you can attach it directly to your wrist or you can set it right here on our little stand to make it basically one unit and here's how you put it together in making it one unit you will see the back of this will slide into this area here so you put that together and it'll just slide in until it clicks. Once it clicks together then you have one complete unit which looks like such. So this unit is now complete and ready to operate. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our or turn on the equipment. Right up here on the very top of the unit, this is the on off switch. You push this switch and the unit will start. Okay? In here you'll get a display here that says evolution and you'll be able to see that it is starting up. On the control unit, on the bottom of the handle right here, you're going to see there is an on off button. Push that button. Once you push that, there's an LED here and that LED is going to blink until a connection is achieved. Once it has a connection from the top unit and the bottom unit, you'll see here that the LED stays on, constant, and so your connection is achieved between both units. So, here in the display, I'd like to explain some of the display to you that we have. And here's the following. We'll start off with here is the volume, which you can select by touching it. You have your language mode. Here you have a little antenna which shows the connection. Then you have a little light. This little light bulb here signifies if your LEDs are on or off. Now the LEDs are activated by pushing the trigger and they're located right here on the bottom here so you can see the LEDs 
when they're on, the light bulb will be illuminated. So, and then when they're off, you'll see that the light bulb has changed. Next to the light bulb, you see two battery indicators. The battery indicators show the top one is for the control unit itself, whereas the bottom one is for the antenna. Okay, all the wireless. Here in the top right hand corner, you'll see there's an information button which will tell you information about the unit. Okay, I'd like to explain a little bit of the screen here so that you can get a good picture of what I'm looking at. Over here we have a volume here, so if you just push that little loudspeaker here, you're going to see that you can change the volume just by touching on the screen. Then over here we have the language, so you can choose your language to whatever language you like. And you see there's quite a few different options. Okay, and then we push this in the top right hand corner to go back again. Over here you see there is an antenna here, and this shows that you have a connection between the control unit and the antenna. Then we have a little light bulb here. Now there are LEDs on the antenna which you can turn on to activate the LEDs so you can see better at night or when working in low light conditions. In order to turn on, you can, run, you can touch the light, turning the LEDs on or off, or on the bottom of the equipment you can pull the trigger, turning the LEDs on and off. Then you have the battery symbols here on top. You have the top battery symbol and the bottom battery symbol. When there is no connection from to the antenna, the bottom battery will not be shown. And there's a connection, then you can see the battery level in both units, the control unit and the antenna. Then you have this little information button here. You can push and it'll give you the information on the particular device. So we're going to start off here with the live sound. And in order to do that, we're going to first push the live sound button. At this point, it's going to ask that I put the antenna down to the ground so that we can get a ground balance, and we'll continue on from there. All right. Okay. When you're doing the ground balance, you want to move the unit like this here in order to balance it out. Do not swing the unit like this. Okay. This is not an S. You don't swing it like this. Or if you swing like this. What's going to happen is, is you're not going to be able to get a good ground balance. Keep the unit level. Move the unit back and forth. Okay? If the, this is a very delicate instrument and it will give you precise readings. But if you swing it up and it's going up in the air, that's going to give you false readings because it's not going to properly get ground balance. Okay, so now when we're going to balance again, we're going to go like this and we're going to look for targets. When it fully ground balances out, it'll be complete and then you'll be able to locate objects under the ground. Here in the live sound mode is just the metal detector and so it's going to work so when you come on a target okay you're gonna hear it. So on different targets you're gonna hear it coming out. When there is nothing in the ground it is quiet. So if you run into nothing that's exactly what you're gonna find. When there's a target you're gonna find it. So we're all looking for our targets in the, out there. So let's find our targets. When it's there, we're going to see them. Okay, in order to adjust the sensitivity of the live sound, you'll see here there's a meter. When it's on red and set directly in the middle, it's automatic. If you need less sensitivity, you push towards the left side of the middle and you'll see it'll change the sensitivity down so it's less sensitive. The reason you'll use less sensitivity if you're in a highly mineralized soil where it reacts to everything. And if you're in other soils, which are very clear, you can increase the sensitivity to the other side to look for more smaller objects. So, when it's in the middle and it's red, then it's automatic and it's made for fairly much neutral soil. If you need more, push to the right side. If you need less, go to the left side. But when it's in the middle, you'll see it is the red and then it's automatic. This is its default setting is the red, which says it's on automatic mode. When you're working with the unit, it's very important that you have the right sensitivity set. If you're on a highly mineralized soil, the unit may go off the entire time, which means you'll need to change the, sens the sensitivity. So, here on the screen, you'll be able to change that just by touching to the left or the right of the scale, and it'll show you uh, the different sensitivity marks, and you can change it. Okay? So, that is the basic operation of the live sound, which is the metal detector.